Big Herc 916, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. Go to BigHerc916.com, pick up some merch, grab your bar of soap, wash your ass, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man, share the channel. Um, it's about a hundred and ten degrees still out here in Arizona, so I'm doing this one from the pool, man. Out here chilling with uh the puppies, you know, everywhere I go they want to be. So you might see a little poof ball in the camera angle. But this story right here, I want to get you guys' opinion on it. Former White House chef and Obama employee found dead at Martha's Vineyard pond after falling while paddle boarding police say now just take that on face value you're paddle boarding you're at Martha's Vineyard and you happen to fall but you don't have a life jacket on if you can't swim does that make sense to you would you be out in the ocean or a large pond or a lake or body of water if you can't swim on a paddle board without a life jacket um i don't think so i know i would have something on even if um you know you're you're doing any type of kayaking or going down a, uh, a river you have a life jacket on so um yeah man um that was kind of strange to begin with uh, former White House chef who was working for the Obama family was found dead on Monday on the south shore of Martha's Vineyard, according to Massachusetts police. Tarfari Campbell, 45, was employed by former President Obama and was visiting Martha's Vineyard at the time of his passing. Campbell was reported missing early Sunday evening after going paddle boarding, police said. Now, when you paddle board, it's like a big surfboard. Um, you, you know, you got your paddle, you can lay on it, you can sit on it, um, it, it, it floats. So for the most part, it keeps you suspended in the water for those who don't know what a paddle board is. Um, he went into the water, appeared to briefly struggle to stay on the surface and then submerge and did not resurface. An earlier state police news release said, Another paddleboarder on the pond with him at the time of witness him go under the water according to the release. It's just strange, man. I don't see why he wouldn't, if the paddleboard kept flipping and maybe he couldn't climb on top of it or something, but I just think that whenever you go out into anything like even a speedboat or a regular pontoon boat, you have a, you have a life jacket on, man. I mean, if I'm in the water and I know it's not my pool, I'm going to have a life jacket on. Um, Massachusetts Environmental Police officers recovered Campbell's body shortly before 10 a.m. Monday from Edgartown Great Pond, police news release said. Police said uh, side scan sonar from a boat to locate him and divers from the department's underwater recovery unit recovered his body, which was about 100 feet from the shore at a depth of about 8 feet. Damn. He was only eight feet deep of water. Now, eight feet, if you're if you're six foot, you can kind of bounce off the bottom. Um, 100 feet from the shore. Damn, that wasn't that far from the shore, man. I, I I don't I don't get it, man. In a joint statement emailed to CNN, Barack and Michelle Obama said they had first met Campbell when he worked as a suicide. Seuss chef at the White House. He continued to work for the couple after Obama's eight-year term. Uh, Tafari was the blood part of our family, said Obama's in their statement. When we first met him, he was a talented Seuss chef at the White House, creative and passionate about food and its ability to bring people together. In the years that followed, we got to know him as a warm, fun, extraordinary, kind person who made all our lives a little brighter. Um, that's why when we were getting ready to leave the White House, we asked Tafari to stay with us, and he generously agreed. He's been part of our lives since, ever since, and our hearts are broken that he's gone. The statement continued. Today we join everyone who knew and loved Tafari, especially his wife, Sharice, and their twin boys, Xavier and Seven. 
and grieving the loss of a truly wonderful man. Man, that's sad, man. I mean, damn, man. A hundred yards from, was it a hundred yards? A hundred feet. It wasn't even a hundred yards. It was a hundred feet from the shore, eight feet deep water, and the man drowned. Condolences to the family, man. The Obamas were not at the residence at the time of the incident, according to police. Um, yeah. You gotta be careful out there, man. You doing anything in water, I'm telling you, if it's not your pool, have a life jacket on. I don't mess around. I ain't got time to be caught in any undercurrents, any undertoes, anything that I can't um, stand at the bottom standing straight up. So, hey, interesting story. What you guys think? Um, does it does it add up to you? I mean, at face value, I mean, you got to say, well, man, maybe there's an undertow, um, eight foot of water, 100 feet from the shore. Man, it said on a Twitter I've seen that he initially had tweeted he couldn't swim, but then he later in another tweet had took swim lessons and was able to, you know, perform the backstroke and some other uh, swimming techniques. So I don't know how um, this came about, but... They've been talking about it everywhere, so I figured I would uh, share it with my um, fans. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. Hello, my name is Big Kirk 916 and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today, Wash Your Ass Soap. And this one in particular is Butt Naked Scrub, but I also have Festival, Oatmeal Milk and Honey, You're Making Me Crazy, um, Monkey Farts, and all these scents smell very good, they will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself so if you can go to bigkirk916.com you can pick you up a bar and my goal is to help america combat funk go to the herc store at bigkirk916.com and pick you up a bar of soap so you can wash that ass or pick you up some never settle for average merch or some of the muscle up car lifestyle merch we have hats, never settle for average. Got the muscle up t-shirts. We also have the never settle for average tank tops. Got the muscle up car lifestyle hoodies. Got the beanie caps. Hey man, represent. And I know you guys aren't average, so pick you up some swag, and step your game up. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.